Hey guys, today I want to talk about a really cool speculation, Ink Moth Nexus. So the card, if you look at my pre previous video, I actually called it as one of my speculations as the number two speculation. And this video was a long time ago. So the price for Ink Moth at that particular time was $5 on Star City Games, I believe. And I said that it would be $8 and then $15 right now. So it has been at $15, but right now it just went up to $25. Yes, two five. So from pretty much $5 to $25 is crazy. Now I own these 15 copies and I own another play set and then a few EDH non foils. So I own 22 copies in total. Uh, my current deck that runs, I actually have two decks. So I own 22 non-foil copies of this card. I own two different decks that have them. Affinity as well as Infect. Infect being like one of the cheapest decks at, you know, before the price spike to build. The foil copies, so I have foil play sets of this card and that would be in the deck my friend has. And that is the Affinity deck. So I don't have the Mox Opals. And the Mox Opals are the most expensive part of that deck. My friend has Opals. So I let him borrow my foil Ink Moth Nexuses. But of course I will get them back soon. So I can make my own Affinity deck. Now the Mox Opal is confirmed as a reprint. Overall, this card has made me $670 uh, according to retail. So that's not a really fake number. But then again, I didn't spend cash on it. I traded for nine, probably 19 of the 22 I traded for it, and maybe I purchased a few copies of it. The foils, I definitely traded for them because they took a while to get a play set of foils. Now the regular version of it, 25 bucks, I purchased it for $5 or traded for it $5 or less. That is a $20 increase in price times 22 is 200, what is it, 440, which is not bad. That's actually pretty decent, $200, $440. But then you add the foil ink moths, which are, I believe are $40, $45 right now. Assuming I traded for them at 10 or 15, $30 a piece, that's still another $120. That is $560, so not quite Stoneforge Mystic good, but overall, like this is how you can make a huge collection with spending very little money. Uh, honestly, I spent pretty much outside of the, maybe at most four or five non-foils I purchased, it was just trading for stuff in standard for stuff that was rotating out. This card, Fantastic card. Do I want to see it reprinted? Absolutely. I would not mind somebody reprinting this card uh, because at the end of the day, as a collector, I don't care about the price as much as I care about collecting more of the card. Obviously, at $25, it makes my entry point unfeasible to collect multiples of this card. That's why something like Philia or Malera or any even Path to Exile makes a lot more sense here because you can collect them for a very long period of time and have fun collecting them. Uh, Ink Moth Nexus, $25, that's crazy. I mean, 440 for non-foils, 120 for the foils. That's insane to me. Like, that's absolutely insane to me. 560 bucks, and um, yeah, Ink Moth was a, definitely a great speculation. I, it was my number two speculation in 2013, in November 2013. And if you had purchased your playset then, you would be very well off at this current time with a card is $25. Now, I'll go over some other interesting financy stuff this week. I did want to make more finance videos because I noticed that there's a lack of them on YouTube and to kind of, my idea at least, <laughs> leave a comment below if you think it's a terrible idea, is to promote MTG Finance until someone else can do it. And Ink Moth Nexus will join Pr Princess uh, Stoneforce Mystic as two of my bellish speculations. Uh, both of them had a long period of, period of time where the card was pretty much almost no money at all and you could pick up X any amount of copies of them 
and now it's obviously the one card that is the hottest right now. Bye guys!